Our first step was to brown the pound of ground beef. We added some salt and pepper for seasoning. And then we also went with onion powder as opposed to chopped onions. Some of us, or some in the Ryder family, are not particular fans of onions. So that's what we got going on right now. Part of our prep work, we have already diced the half a cup of dill pickles. Some recipes call for a sweet pickle relish, but we are going with the uh, dill pickles. Half cup, dill pickles, chopped. All right, we have a cup of vegetable oil uh, heating up on the stove. And now it's time for our egg rolls to take a, uh, take a bath. Now these will be uh, frying for four to five minutes and turning it once halfway through. You can see they're starting to crisp up on the bottom side, so it's just about time to flip these over. You can see once they are flipped, a golden brown that they are, these look delicious. Can't walk away from these, that's for sure. Here you see our finished product, our cheeseburger spring rolls. Quick and easy recipe. And uh, these can be found in the Magic Kingdom once the cart is reopened um, near Adventureland. So using our Adventureland plate tonight. So we're gonna take one here and we're going to cut it in half and get a nice little cross section here. Very crispy, very crunchy. Looks really delicious. Looks really good. Very cheesy, very meaty. And we uh, have created uh, a dipping sauce. Uh, we've mixed some Worcestershire sauce and ketchup. So let's, let's see how this tastes. 
Bon Appetit. We're gonna take our first bite without any dipping sauce. It's delicious. Very crunchy. I don't really know how to describe it, except it tastes really good. Uh, the egg roll wrapper, too, running down my hand. So you're gonna need a napkin with this. And, uh, but yeah, it's delicious. Does it taste like a cheeseburger? It tastes just like a cheeseburger egg roll. Well, knowing the ingredients is ground beef, pickles. We use onion powder instead of onions, so you may wanna, if you are an onion fan, but I can taste the onions from the onion powder and uh, the mustard and the Worcestershire sauce. It, it all combines well. All combines well for a, for a great treat, great snack, which reminds me of the Magic Kingdom. Delicious. Mm. Two hours later. Welcome to Magical Monday, live once again. Um, we weren't here. We weren't live last Monday night. Last Monday night, we were in the Return from the Mountains last Monday night. So, um, for Labor Day. So, Labor Day weekend in Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge. And I think everyone else in the Southeast was probably up there with us. It was quite crowded. Got a little bit of Disney last weekend. That's right, got to go to the Disney outlet at, uh, at the outlet malls in Pigeon Forge. So here, Bill. So did that. Hey, and I also did a few videos um, that I'll be featuring on the YouTube channel. So another plug for the YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to the Magical Traveler on YouTube, please do so. Please do so. I got another subscriber tonight, Stuart Brandstetter. He subscribed tonight. Thank you, Stuart. And uh, Stuart. Uh, gave me the idea to do the Butterbeer episode, so that'll be going up on YouTube pretty soon. But tonight, we're back in the kitchen. We're back in the kitchen tonight making a, a treat that you can that you can find or a snack. Be a snack credit when that good old Disney dining plan uh, returns. Snack credit in the Magic Kingdom can be found over uh, near, the advent, near Adventureland. Um, we're gonna be making cheeseburger spring rolls. Cheeseburger spring rolls, so this is kind of the the Magical Traveler version of cheeseburger spring rolls that can be found uh, near Adventureland uh, in the Magic Kingdom. So, that's what we have for dinner tonight, too. So, we've already tested them. We tested the product. I've got the oil over here. This is the finished product. This is what we're going to be making here shortly. Um, and this is what we had for dinner. And this is what I'll be having for lunch tomorrow at school. So, on my Adventureland plate. So it's, it's quite easy. It's one of the easiest things that we've done in the kitchen, probably one of the smallest messes that we've made and probably the, one of the smallest prep time. Uh, and just a few ingredients. Uh, the main ingredient is obviously egg roll wrappers. We got this from Sun's. Sun's grocery store here in Jasper. Uh, just your run-of-the-mill egg roll wrappers. This is Melissa's brand. I don't know who Melissa is, but... They were good. Rolls. They were good. They did a good job. And that was about two eighty nine or so. Um, and this is a pack of... Fifth, I think there were 15 in there. 15, okay, so 15. It's a pretty good unit ratio there. Good quality price. And then also we had a pound of ground beef. We had a half a cup of pickles. Chopped. chopped. You can add onion chopped, but we use onion powder. Um, a tablespoon or more of mustard. Which is our sauce? Oh, we put a little tiny bit of ketchup, but not a lot. Yeah, a little bit, not enough to change the taste, really. No, just we're like going for the a cheese little burger. squirt. Oh, yeah. And you can't have a cheeseburger without what? Cheese. cheese. That's right. So we use cheese. We use shredded cheese and calls for a cup of shredded cheese. But if you like it to be cheesier, then do so. The trackers used Velveeta. They cubed up Velveeta. It's been a while since I've had Velveeta. So we used um, you know, pre-shredded cheese. We could have shredded ourselves with cheddar cheese, but we used... Well, we did use the, the block cheese to put on the top oh, yeah, of true. it once. That's true. We used... We did the sharp cheddar. The sharp cheddar, yeah. 
to kind of like you're putting cheese on top of a cheeseburger, we put it inside the egg roll when we added the, the meat to it. So, um, and I think that's it. We're gonna start, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make one. We've already made them, so I'm gonna make one on camera. Now, Julie made these earlier. You know, when you a little behind the scenes, she made the ones we ate for dinner to make sure they tasted good. So I'm Strictly start, oh, for research. You know purposes. what? Before I get started, I need to Germex. I need the Germex. I just want to thank Jan Smith for the Germex. The child Germex. Thank you, Janice. I appreciate it. I saw Janice this afternoon in car pickup line at the junior high. She told me that she gave my lovely wife something for me. I didn't know what to expect. But it's the child, baby Yoda, right there. So thank you, Janice. I appreciate it. Janice is a fellow Disney fan. Disney fan, for sure. She's given me the opportunity to book her family's trips to the pool. And I'll talk to a few of you this evening about booking as well. So, uh, I'm Jeremy X, ready to go, folks. All right, so I'm gonna take my egg roll wrap. Egg roll, and these are refrigerated. And I've never um, worked with egg roll wrap before. <laughs> I've never done it before. Um, All right, we're gonna come over here. Don't mind our messy kitchen, folks. So. Question. It's not too bad. Do I do it like this or left hook It doesn't matter. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Apply on the side? They're I'll both the same. Side, no, that's fine. Okay. And so we did have some of our mixture left over, so I have it in the microwave. In my new Pyrex container. Thank y'all. Huh, the child Pyrex. Y'all know I'm a sucker, but there he is eating frog. Snack, please. Yum. There's his, there's his coffee. Anyway, so that's my Pyrex container. Pyrex has great Disney containers. Yes, they do. And Tupperware also. And Tupperware too. So this is what the mixture looks like. It, you know, it may not look that um, delectable right now, but you can see the ground beef, the cheese, the pickles. That's what you see there, okay? So. Just so I'm gonna, um, instead of using a sliced cheese, I'm gonna use good old crap sandwich. That is a sauce of cheese. But I mean like sharp cheddar, <laughs> like from the block. So. I don't like this kind of cheese, for the record. I grew up on this cheese. I'm not a fan of. So as you can see here, I'm just going to put the cheese there, and I'm going to add, pardon me one moment, and keep looking at my, Give me a spoon here. I'm gonna add the mixture, the meat mixture, the cheeseburger mixture here. All right. There we go. Put this right over here. Now this is this is the the part I don't know how to do. We can do it. So I fold this side all the way over and tuck that in. Tuck everything. Oh, like a, okay. Like, I'm a like you're making it. Yeah, like you're making a burrito. Squeeze it all in. Squeeze it all in. Then fold in the sides. Oh, Roll okay. it really, really I got tight. You. I got you. It's like I'm at Moe's. Yeah, fold in the sides. Fold in the side. Fold in the other side. Fold in the other side. And then roll and then over one time. Roll. Uh huh. And then get the water. Okay. Yeah. Up there in the corner. This is like the, um, the envelope. Uh huh. Okay, and get that this. wet. Yeah, and then kind of roll it all the way over and like that. that. There you go. It's like the glue. Gotcha. Yeah, I didn't do any of these earlier, so this is live, folks. Unrehearsed. All right. Unedited. And then I'm going to take it over here to the, to the go oil. Go ahead. To the oil. All right, so. There you go, folks. It's cooking. And it doesn't take very long. Just a couple of minutes, maybe. Uh, so, what we ended up doing, um, we just uh, mixed a little bit of Worcestershire sauce with ketchup to make kind of a dipping sauce. Uh, I, I assure you, you could probably um, use some mayo chuck or some... Uh, whatever you like to put on your burgers. Like a one, I mm -hmm. a one would be good. 
I feel like you could toss some sort of vegetable something into this, like with crunchy lettuce. I don't know how it would do in the frying part, but maybe you could put it sort of like they do the Bama rolls if you put them on top of like a bed of lettuce and I don't know. But it just tastes like a cheeseburger once you bite into it. Yeah, it it's definitely has, obviously it's called cheeseburger sprinkle for a reason, but in the Magic Kingdom they also have other varieties. Um, so when you go to Magic Kingdom, when they begin selling these again, they might not have the cheeseburger sprinkles. They may have uh, pepperoni and cheese. I think they call them pepperoni pizza spring rolls. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen buffalo chicken spring rolls. I've seen Philly cheese steak spring rolls. Mm -hmm. um, so a number of spring roll options uh, in the Magic Kingdom. Uh, so you may not run across um, uh, the cheeseburger spring roll. Uh, it's starting to crisp up a little bit as it, as it does. Uh, Why don't you show us one that's already... Okay. Well, I did have these in the refrigerator. So, because it's going to be my lunch tomorrow. <laughs> so, I'll, I'll go ahead and cut this one open. Because that was, is going to be really hot. It's going to be too hot to touch. I'm going to get a little cross section of it. Here. This is what we're dealing with, folks. When it fries up, it's got this nice crispy egg roll. Uh, yeah, it is crunchy. Outside. So be prepared for that. You can it see is... the cheese. And you can see here where we put the, the slice of cheese in the bottom of it, right there. And you got your ground beef and your pickles. Uh, I think we kept it Give earlier. It there you go. On six, six, six and a half. So there's. This is the same oil from earlier, so we didn't want it to get too smoky. Yeah. We're recycling oil. <laughs> Speaking of recycling oil, I don't know if any of you have ever heard of Dyer hamburgers in Memphis. So they use the same grease, the same oil. They fry their hamburgers. When I say fry, I'm not talking about fried skillet. I mean in a deep fry. A deep fry their, their hamburgers. And they use the same oil for years. Even when they moved restaurants, they moved the oil. Or when they opened up a new restaurant, they took some of the old oil to the new restaurant. Yeah, so. It's always been, a part of it has always been the original oil from the very beginning, which sounds kind of gross. I'm sure they, to they, me. They, they take it through some sort of process. Oh. Uh, Let's. Oh, listen, listen now. You hear that? Snap, crackle, and popping. <laughs> See, that's initially what earlier when we made. We, how many did we make? Uh, nine? We, no, we made like... I ate three. We gave three, three away to my parents. Three, that's right. I think we made 13, oh, 12 or 13. Look. Oh, don't let the cheese all ooze out. Look. I see. It had a little hole. The cheese is leaking. The cheese is leaking. Oh, man. No. I think you can turn it off now. That didn't happen last good. time. Look at that cheese oozing out. Yeah. I think it's the liquid. Liquid it's gold. Made... <laughs> I did do this earlier to the ones I kind of put on the side when I wanted it to be crispy all the way around. Now, if you decide to use a more shallow, um, not more shallow, but a deeper, a deeper pan, then it it will probably submerge more into the, your oil. But we're kind of using a yeah. still here. We, these are my favorite pans. If y'all don't have any of this large um, enamel coated cast iron, I love it. We have a few pieces and it's just it's just the best. So that's what that is. That's a Very large, large. <laughs> large. Uh, <laughs> we love the large uh, cast iron stuff. Logic, you want to send us some free cast iron? <laughs> I used to call it Loge because I didn't know any better. As All if you don't know how to. There's a Loge 
There's a lodge at this store. As if you don't know how to read the word lodge. But I just thought a lodge is like somewhere where you live. Like a lodge. Like a wilderness lodge. I think it's good. So I thought, that can't be lodge. It's got to be lodge. It's got to be print. No. All right, you got the paper towels ready? I do. Right here. And so the directions say to let it drain on paper towels. So earlier, if you can imagine how many we had piled up. I ate three. Julie ate I three. I ate three. We sent a, a few. We gave three store, away, yeah. And then I've got three for lunch tomorrow. These are my free for lunch tomorrow. Well, yeah. Um, so that's... But that one's going to really be too hot for you to bite into right now. Uh, I'm going to cut it in half. Though. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just saying. I'm gonna cut it you don't want to burn your tongue. No, I don't. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to put it on my adventure line plate. Move this one over here. Alright, so let's see how this bad boy looks here. Get in here. Nice and crispy. Nice and... and there's the cheesy, meaty goodness. It's as gooey as it looks. It's good. Yeah, it's real good. And it is smoking right now. It is smoking hot. Right yeah, now. there's no way you can bite into that right now. Y'all do? I'm not gonna do it. So. So as you can see, a real simple, even I could do it again. The most challenging part is the folding, but once I did one, I think I could do it over and over again. And uh, earlier, it was almost like an assembly line. The junior was, and we put them on a pan of parchment paper. So when you when you're making them, until you're ready to put it in the in the uh, oil, uh, you should have like a piece of parchment paper so they don't mm -hmm. stick. And uh, just get them ready, and then. Fire them up. This would be one something that you could do uh, for, before a ball game. You know, college football started back, um, NFL started back. You could really, though, put any kind of filling in these. You don't have to do, just do cheeseburger. Like, you could totally fry anything in that, and it would be good. I, I was thinking the same thing, like, bake some apples. Oh, yeah, apples. and do, like, powdered sugar or something on the top of them. Cinnamon. Yeah. Yeah. Cinnamon on top. Roll them in the cinnamon sugar. Hey, that sounds really good. Yeah. Probably much better than <laughs> these. No, these are really good. And I would like to try it. Yeah, you could do sweet and savory. For sure. So, if you decide to do something different or something along this line, share it with me. I do know, you can you can see that I'm wearing my tie-dye shirt that we did two weeks ago. Uh-huh. Two weeks ago. This is my tie-dye shirt that we made the Mickey tie-dye. And then Kim Spain, uh, she showed me some pictures at church uh, of some that she made, um, and they turned out great. She followed um, the video that I, that I put out, so it works. It works. Uh, we made a few more. Caroline made one that night, and then I made another one, and my Mickey actually turned into a heart. It didn't separate here. It stayed together here, and it looked like a heart, so I'll have to show that to you, uh, take a picture, and share it with you, but these turned out really good. Yeah, I think I would probably wear this one in public. Probably <laughs> um, and this is on a, a comfort color t-shirt, which is much softer than the other t-shirts that we use, the Gilliam brand. So the, the comfort color is really soft. And so I actually really like this compared to the other one. Um, so if you have any ideas for videos, um, if you decide to do something like this, share it with me. Um, tag me in it on Facebook. Show me your creations. Or if you'd like to see us do something different in the kitchen, or if you have an idea for a different type of video. Again, I mentioned previously I wasn't sure how often on Monday nights I'll be doing this since I started school back and school's back and we've got Schoology and, and all this stuff going on. So every Monday night might not be a possibility for us, but starting to do some different videos and share those. Uh, Disney-based videos, Gatlinburg, just other travel. Uh, Blog, yeah, we do go other places other than Disney. Believe it or not, believe it or not. But most of the time we're, we're right here at home. <laughs> I have lots of staycations, so. That's right. Um, 
But I will say that uh, I'm sure we'll be returning to the magic for too long and visiting Walt Disney World during this time. And so let me encourage you, if you have any questions about it, I've got a couple of you that messaged me tonight, uh, tonight about Billy. Um, I'm looking forward to working with you and getting your plans made and get your book and get everything planned and make sure you're prepared to have a great time uh, during this time. So thank you for that. And uh, it's about 8.30. Now, I usually try to finish at about 8.30. 830. So appreciate you guys tuning in tonight. Share this video. Again, subscribe to The Magical Traveler on YouTube and then share that too. And I greatly appreciate it. Um, thanks for joining us in our kitchen. And until next time, stay well, stay safe, stay magical, my friends. See you real soon. Bye-bye.